Hey everyone, it's the Sun Our Wave with another review and today it is Earthrise Trailbreaker. I know he's been out for quite a while, but I actually never got Trailbreaker until well, the last week. He just, he never showed up where I lived. I missed out on him, uh, Sunstreaker and uh, Fast Track. The three of them, they just never showed up uh, in my area. So I actually had to source them from uh, my good friend Daniel, who runs Playground Zero. Um, that's my cat, you can see in the background. Um, yeah, I actually had to source them from Daniel in the end, because they just never showed up where I was. And that's unfortunately what uh, seems to happen sometimes here in Australia. Uh, some parts get everything, some parts only get a smattering. Uh, my, uh, a friend of mine down in Victoria, he got um, all of that wave. Me, I only got like RC and um, I can't remember who else was with her. Um, but I only got like two or three out of that wave. The others just never popped up here, so uh, yeah, and um, other times uh, they might show up, uh, my friend might find them something first and maybe a couple months later they'll finally pop up here or uh, vice versa or we both find stuff at the same time. It's, it's impossible to uh, predict what we're going to find and when, um, so we uh, try to help each other out the best we can. Last year, uh, my friend never found uh, Skylinks, so I ended up going back to my local Big W and buying him uh, one and sending it down to him. Um, he also never found uh, Scorponok. Now, I actually got Scorponok from uh, Toy World uh, when he first came out here in Australia, but uh, my friend, he, yeah, it just never showed up where he lived, so... Uh, he ended up getting it from, I think, the Little Toy Company um, in the end. But uh, Daniel also sources a lot of the uh, larger Transformers as well. So um, I'm getting the arc through him. And uh, he's also got Rotomus Prime for anyone who did miss out or uh, anyone in America who... Uh, wants him now and doesn't want to wait for him to come into stock anywhere in America um, you can buy him off uh, Daniel who runs Playground Zero on Facebook uh, he gets a lot of really good stuff um, he gets a lot of the masterpiece um, a lot of the third party transformers I recently picked up um, Fans Toys Perceptor uh, I'm getting the um, fans toys donor bots from him and um, he can also it's not bad at finding a lot of the uh, older hard to find stuff he found uh, rail racer for me so uh, yeah he's definitely someone I'm glad I found and he's become a very good friend of mine uh, since I started buying stuff from him he's uh, an excellent person to deal with and he's uh, pretty fair and reasonable with his prices and um, if he can't find what you're looking for he will either uh, give you your money back or you know offer to um, find something else of equal value that you may have been looking for um, and yeah he's you know, he's just a lovely person to deal with so I do recommend looking him up and um, uh, buying from him. He is uh, definitely someone I will continue to support. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, yeah, so that's where I got uh, Trail Broker from. Uh, Hoist I did actually find in store, but I couldn't find his mold mate. So I imported Trail Broker um, along with Fast Track and uh, the Rumble and Ratbat. Um, set as well um, uh, yeah I've uh, imported a few things from uh, 
Daniel, although um, Leadfoot I actually got from a friend of mine in America, um, but he gets a lot of the exclusives as well, he can get them, um, they might be a little more expensive, but um, at least then you know you're getting them, they're a guaranteed thing, and yeah, so he gives that extra sense of security in a lot of things, but um, you know, as I was saying, uh, I, I don't actually have a trail breaker. This was the first one I actually owned in my collection. Um, I want to try and eventually get, I think it's Titan's Return Trail Cutter. Um, and I do have a third party masterpiece trail breaker on my list. I just can't remember uh, what it is um, or the company. I can't remember now, but um, I do have one of them on my list to eventually get, um, hoist, uh, not so much, I just really got, mainly got hoist because, um, he's one of those ones, while I'm not a fan of him, um, well, not a huge fan, I didn't mind the character, but, um, he was one I didn't want to go and get a masterpiece or something so getting the um, Earthrise mold was uh, what I felt was a good compromise because they are very much like scaled down uh, masterpiece uh, transformers and it, they're a good um, compromise for people who can't buy um, the masterpiece or the third party or if you're like me you're not a huge fan of a particular character but you'd still like to have at least something in uh, your collection for him. <coughs> and this is um, a good compromise for um, any of those sorts of reasons. But, um, yeah, uh, Trail Breaker we obviously were introduced to very early on. I think he was actually... Yeah, he was in, in the first episode, you... Um, you see him with, I think it's Prowl, Jazz, and uh, Prime just before they uh, begin to launch, the uh, launching of the Ark. And obviously one of his most notable qualities was being able to produce force fields and um, the episode where he was with Spark, uh, with Spark Plug and Spike and spying on the Decepticons. Which then led to them getting harassed by the Seekers and the uh, Terror Twins had to come and save them. Which we all know led to Sonny complaining about his paint job and his brother cracking jokes about it. Um, why he thought that was wise, I don't know. But um, yeah, I, I, I like the way Trail Breaker turned out. As I said, I don't have Trail Cutter. I don't have any other um, Trail Breaker in my collection this was my very first one but i did like uh trial breaker from what i did see him um i would like to have seen probably a little bit more of him um but it's it's what it is um but he was i just i guess i like just like something about him and I, when i heard he was getting a release for Earth Rise, I thought I definitely want to be able to pick him up, so I was disappointed when um, I couldn't, uh, but then I thought, well, that's okay, Daniel will uh, be able to help me out. Uh, you'll have to excuse the noise. That'll be my cat. He doesn't like it when he gets ignored. 
is uh, very, very bossy. Now with this, you want to be able to hook this part down on this. So, and that will hold everything in place and you're going to bring his arms around and you're just going to turn them I uh, probably mistransformed him somewhere but uh, there he is in his Robot mode. I'm not going to do grapple. It's the exact same transformation, basically. They look pretty much the same. Um, but I I like the way he turned out. Um, I would like it if you could do something about the uh, side panels. Maybe fold them up more just to give him a little more... Um, room with his arms to move just you know it's just simple things like that that I would have would like to have seen changed um but yeah it's mostly just the arm panels they just I would like I would have liked if you could just like fold part of them up so at least he had a little more uh room down on his arms on his lower arms uh, I did have his weapon. I don't know where I've put it now. Uh, no, it wasn't the cat who stole it. Surprisingly, he doesn't actually steal any of my stuff. Um, <coughs> I know Peppa likes to steal a lot of uh, Optobonimus' things. Um, she's probably got a little collection of them somewhere, including, I think it's the uh, Super Shredder's uh, Spear. So I don't know what she's planning with that, but if I were him, I'd sleep with one eye open. But, um, yeah, mine doesn't seem to actually uh, bother, really, with stealing anything I've got on my review desk. Uh, he did use to knock stuff off the shelves, uh, primarily my books, so I had a few books ruined. But, um, yeah, other than that, he's not much of a uh, thief. My previous cat on the other hand I couldn't even leave uh, a hot chocolate laying around because he'd just uh, help himself to it so um, yeah it was interesting to see the contrast between them in terms of personality but um, yeah honestly all I can really say is um, the arm panels are a bit of a nuisance for me and um, I, I guess that's really it. That's all that really, uh, bothers me about him in particular. Um, he did come with his, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called now, but, um, I don't know if it's like his hollow admitter, like Hound Scott or what, um, and I've put it somewhere, probably be in amongst all my other stuff, so, but, uh, I'll find it when I'm not looking for it, so... I mean, uh, transforming him back's uh, pretty simple as well. Especially once you've done it a couple of times, it grows easier. You actually want to turn your arms 
until this part here is pointing out. And that's because it'll lock in when you fold it down uh, later. So, and then bring them down. And then pull the arms back. And you fold each of the legs back. This will essentially form his undercarriage. And they just tuck up in here. There's a tab right there. And that'll plug in here, just in there. And there is most of him done. And then these are going to slide down here. So and there you have him back in his vehicle mode. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm not sick. It's just sinus acting up again. Um, but uh, there's trail breaker. And that's all from me. Um, I might be able to, I might have something else later in the week. I'm not sure. Uh, if not, it might be next week. Uh, still haven't found Galvatron yet, so I'm hoping to find him soon. Uh, in the meantime, uh, stay safe and stay kind out there. Good luck to everyone competing at the Olympics. And remember to smile because you are beautiful, you are unique, and you should own it. You take care, everyone, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.